Wade and Gabrielle Union are a power couple if I've ever seen one. With their successful careers combined, they've been able to buy and sell some pretty beautiful mansions over the years. And their current spot, well, it's worth like $18 million. The Wades reside in the fancy neighborhood of Hidden Hills, and today we'll take a look at where they call home, as well as their other properties they've owned, such as their Miami spot and more. We even found some of the listings. Gabrielle Union, now Gabrielle Union Wade, is an actress, activist, author, and more who began her career in the 90s appearing on TV and then teen films like 10 Things I Hate About You and her breakthrough role in Bring It On. You want to make it right? Then when you go to nationals, bring it. Don't slack off because you feel sorry for us. That way, when we beat you, we'll know it's because we're better. I'll bring it. Don't worry. I never do. She's been in plenty of movies since then and continues to act. Not to mention she's an activist who works on issues regarding women's health and violence against women. Phenomenal actress and superstar in her own right, Gabrielle Union, who is also the wife of Dwayne Wade. Her other half, Dwayne Wade, is a former professional basketball player who spent most of his 16-year career playing for the Miami Heat in the NBA. He helped guide the team to four NBA finals from 2011 to 2014, winning back-to-back -back championships in 2012 and 2013. Although he played for a couple of other big teams, he finished his career playing with Miami just last year. These days, the Wades have a baby daughter together and seem to be living the good life. At the time of this recording, Dwayne has an estimated net worth of 170 million, while Gabrielle holds her own at around 40 million. Combined, these two have quite some fortune and beautiful homes to boot. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we've got another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I got some requests for this one from you guys, so I'm happy to say we're taking a look at our famous couple Dwayne Wade and Gabriel Union Wade call home, including their current mega mansion in Hidden Hills, their Miami home, and more. If you like these videos, like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Odell Buckham Jr. and Shaquille O'Neal, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram, chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Of course, you already know, playing for Miami Heat, that Dwayne had to have some impressive digs out in Florida. Only last year in 2019, once he stopped playing, did he put this gorgeous home on the market. I'm sure he and Gabrielle made some amazing memories at this resort-like property before they moved on. Dwayne purchased this home back in 2010 for $10.6 million, according to property records. It was located in Miami Beach, Florida on Biscayne Bay, which is an exclusive neighborhood popular with celebrities. Past residents have included the likes of Matt Damon, Jennifer for Lopez, Ricky Martin, and more. The two-story Mediterranean-style home spanned 14,000 square feet of living space with six beds, nine full baths, and two half baths. Not to mention it sat on a large one acre of waterfront land. He also had the home renovated in 2015, and after pouring money into the place, once you hear how much he listed it for, he definitely is getting a bang for his buck. The home is set behind private gates, and inside offers multiple formal and informal living areas, including a fancy dining room, family room, and a chef's grade kitchen with beamed ceilings and state-of-the-art appliances. Details throughout include arched doorways, walls of windows, and sets of French doors connecting the living spaces outside. Other mansion-like highlights included a wine room, professional home movie theater, and an elevator. The luxurious master suite had an office, a spa-like bath with dual vanities, and a private balcony. Not to mention, Gabrielle would have been able to use the salon room for styling and makeup. On the grounds, the fancy features continue. This space boasts a pool, gazebo with bar, outdoor kitchen, and even a Miami Heat-themed basketball court we can see in listing photos. Not to mention the 165 feet of waterfront with a dock. So just how much did Dwayne list the property for? Well, he started with a hefty $32.5 million, clearly trying to get all that money back from renovations and then some. However, he had to lower it to about $29 million, and word on the street is they're still looking for a buyer. Now let's move on to the West Coast. A few years back, Gabrielle sold what was thought to be her last home in the Sherman Oaks area of Los Angeles, which was an 1800 or so square foot house she had since 2001. But then the couple moved to a larger home nearby, selling in 2017. And then there was this place. In 2018, the Wades bought a mansion in the San Fernando Valley enclave of Sherman Oaks once again. This time, it was a house secured behind electronic gates at the end of a private road, perched on a high hillside with panoramic views of the mountains and valleys. 
The Sherman Oaks mansion spanned almost 8,700 square feet with five beds and 8.5 baths over three levels of luxurious living space linked together by a dramatic circular staircase and an elevator. The white Mediterranean home was purchased for just shy of six million and the couple scored a bit of a discount. On the main level of the home, you'll find a formal dining room, living room, den, and an office, as well as a state-of-the-art kitchen. Although the mansion was brand new and never lived in before the Wades got their hands on it, the couple nonetheless gutted and replaced the kitchen with another high-end one. Now it offers stone counters, a breakfast bar, and center island. Some other informal entertainment areas throughout include a large family room with wet bar, second floor den, state of the art home theater, and climate controlled wine room. The light felt second floor master suite the couple shared was also renovated just like the kitchen. A fireplace was removed so an entire wall of folding glass doors could be installed and the bathroom was completely redone too. In the double master bathroom you'll find a freestanding tub and access to a private terrace with mountain views. The rest of the bedrooms are located on the top floor and they're also en suite. The the lower level also offers a wellness room currently set up for an at-home yoga studio and a bar. There are plenty of French doors throughout the residence which lead to patios and the outdoor space. Here you'll find an infinity pool and spa as well as an entertaining area with a fire pit. As of March 2020, their Sherman Oaks mansion is on the market too with a $6.2 million asking price. And if you're wondering where the couple is living considering they're selling all their massive properties, well I'm about to show you. In an off-market deal, Gabrielle and Duane purchased a newly built mega mansion in the celeb love neighborhood of Hidden Hills, Los Angeles. The couple spent a whopping $18 million on this home, but since they bought it under the radar and brand new, there were few listing photos available. We can see how lavish their Hidden Hills residence is and the place looks massive from the outside. Anywhere in this hood is high profile and only the most famous and wealthy of people can call it home, including past and present residents like the Kardashian Jenners, Jessica Simpson, and Jeffree Star. Star, just to name a few. Gabrielle and Duane's three-story mansion is stone accented and contemporary in style and measures over 22,000 square feet of living space inside with seven beds and nine baths. The rooms are spread over multiple wings in the home and walking in you're greeted with a double height rotunda entry and spiral staircase, leading to the main entertaining areas. We can see the kitchen is minimal in style with clean countertops and workspaces and windows all over letting in a ton of lights. Other comforts include a state-of-the-art home theater, wine storage and tasting room, and a fitness center with spa and sauna. The master bedroom has an attached marble bath with glass enclosed shower, freestanding tub, and lots of natural light. The Wade's Hilltop property takes advantage of the large lot outside, offering a massive zero-edge swimming pool, a cabana for outdoor entertaining, and a turntable equipped 12-car garage. Not to mention there's a fireplace and covered lounging areas for cozier nights. I wish we could see how the Wades are decorating this place in more photos, but it's obvious they found their dream home. I feel like once celebrities move to Hidden Hills, they usually stay there. So now we've taken a look at the high-profile couple Dwayne Wade and Gabriel Union Wade and the places they've called home. Although their current Hidden Hills mansion may seem a little huge for them and their daughter, maybe they plan on growing their family too, who knows. After seeing the Miami Beach mansion, their most recent Sherman Oaks property and what we know about their current house, which was your fave? I think mine was the Sherman Oaks mansion. It was spacious and impressive, but still not over the top and super elegant. Anyways, be sure to let me know what you guys thought down in that comment section and which one of the Wade's houses you liked best, as well as whose house tour you want to see next. Follow me on Instagram so we can chat. Be sure to like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!